All right, so I wanted to make a little video to correct something in a previous video. So previously I had suggested that when tuning using the step response in PID Toolbox and the new Betaflight 4.3 sliders, that you start with the P to D balance using the damping slider, and then second using the drift wobble slider to get the P to I balance, and then finally the master multiplier to dial in the proper gains. But the problem with that is that the P to I balance is actually really nonlinear such that if your PID gains are really low, that you would tend to see the effects of I term at much lower values. Whereas if your PID gains are higher and you start to close the error gap, then I term is less likely to start accumulating. And of course, then you can push it much farther before you see any kind of effects in the step response. So what I'm suggesting now instead, starting with the P to D balance as before, then moving to the master multiplier. And then, of course, any manipulation of the pitch to roll balance. And then finally, doing the P to I balance last. Because higher PID gains are going to result in less error, then you're going to find that that I term is going to be pushed much farther before you start seeing the effects in the step response. And this will make sure that you're not under-tuning I term. And then, of course, add feed forward as desired. Anyway, I hope that helps.